Hello and welcome Pisces. This is going to be your heart of the matter reading for Lionsgate 8-8-2020. And it's to help you consider what it is that may be blocking you from accessing your personal power, your solar plexus energy, speaking and standing in your truth. And considering that the moon is still currently in Pisces, you might be feeling either very receptive and in touch with your emotions, or you might be feeling extra, like, sensitive, emotional, intuitive, etc. And Lionsgate coming in tomorrow is going to move the sun from your sign into Aries. So you might feel extra impulsive and kind of out of sorts, like you're swimming in jello on 8-8-2020 itself. But let's see what's at the heart of the matter for you, Pisces. Oh, good. One card. Queen of Pentacles reversed. So off the bat, the first thing I'm, I'm getting a sense of, which is not uncommon for those with Pisces placements, and in Vedic I have Pisces moons, and I have a, a son who is a Pisces cusp. So this one, off the bat, feels like mother wound stuff. So it could be, let's see what the hot topic is. Oh, and you get the sun at the top of the deck there, too. So, at the bottom of the deck, it's funny, this is this is typically a Capricorn card, but some also consider it to be a Pisces card. Um, but either way, you are tired of juggling. I know Pisces oftentimes can become people pleasers. We want We want everybody to be happy. We would gladly give the shirt off of our backs and just to see somebody smile. And we don't like having to hurt people's feelings. But unfortunately, there are times when people do that and then we get depleted. And when we get depleted, then we become very mean, very ungrounded. Uh, we use resources to, to hurt. We might get secretive with them. And this doesn't have to apply to any one particular gender. It's more a matter of kind of toxic feminine energy. So... Let's look at what's in the middle. Yeah, judgment reversed. So, what I'm feeling like, Pisces, is that this is a reflection card of how you juggle yourself so that you can feel like you're giving to others like you're, like you're her. Like you have all the resources and all the access and it's so abundant that you can give, 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 give. But then you end up like this. And then you don't feel good. And then you don't get to experience this fun joy when that's what you'd like. You'd like to be sitting here. But here's the thing. The Queen of Pentacles is here because she has already made it through the Queen of Wands stage. She understands healthy boundaries. And she does not allow... Well, like, you know what? She gives herself grace for being, you know, being triggered in the moment of something, but then she goes back to, like, concentrating on becoming the Empress, because that's the next step up from the Queen of Pentacles as the Empress, and so she's concentrating more so on meditating and being artistic and doing things in that nature that help keep her in a flowing attitude of gratitude. So this, Pisces, is likely within you, but I'm also getting the sense for a fair amount of folks with um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or North Node placements with Pisces, you might have other women in your environment who you are playing out mother wound stuff with, and they might be attempting to mess with your resources. Now, if that's occurring, the the it's still the same thing. Work on that within yourself that is making you feel ungrounded so that you can give yourself anything that you feel like they are withholding from you or creating disaster scenarios in and have good boundaries. Don't juggle. Only give that which you are already giving yourself and that which you know you can give without an expectation of, re of reciprocation and still feel good about you. All right, Pisceans, I'll leave my email in the description box below, and I'll see you in the next video.